What's up YouTube? So uh, today I'm going to do a video on my canoe outriggers that I made. Um, it's super easy um, and really convenient to remove and put on and you don't have to load your canoe on top of your truck with the big old outrigger sticking out the sides, you know, so um, yeah, so here's a picture of what it looks like. Sorry for the bad drawing, but I used one inch PVC um, all the way across and then for the down parts I used the one inch and then I used one inch to three quarter inch T connectors at the bottom and then where the little crab foam things stick out from those are three quarter inch PVCs because they fit perfectly right through the crab foam holes oh, yeah but um <laughs> but yeah so uh yeah we're gonna go out to the guest house to the back side of the guest house and um that's where the canoe is so I'll take you back there and we'll check it out and show you how it's done yeah, stay tuned. So, yeah, I'll show you how I did it. I also got the motor mount right there. I'll show you quickly how I did the motor mount. The motor mount, all I did was take the 2x4s and then take one of these brackets and I just bolted it down, bolted it down there. You can see it comes out this side and then one's underneath it. And then I got these little hook bolts and I just put it all the way through, hooked it down on the side. This thing is not moving. I can put probably like three, four horsepower if I wanted to. That thing is so sturdy. It's crazy. And then, yeah, so for the outriggers, so everyone, what they do is they usually drill it right here or something, but I didn't have any gun wells on this side. So as you can see, there's nothing to attach it to. So what I did was I just took those same hook bolts and I just hooked it underneath there and I just bolted down I just measured exactly how far the distance is and I just drilled a hole and then as you can see I messed up once right there but then I got it right right there and I'll show you how it's done and like this is good because when you throw the canoe on top of the truck when you're throwing when you're throwing the canoe on top of the truck it's good because you don't want these things sticking out the side you know so I just usually re remove them and then throw the canoe up so I'll show you how, how I remove it So as you can see, I just got these little hooks and basically what it does is it goes down and it hooks like that and then I just tighten it down and I just did it on both sides. So this middle piece, I don't know, it's just the only connector I had so I just threw that on. And then these were from, uh, I forgot where, I think it was um, Outdoor Sportsman or something for seven, seven bucks a piece. So I just got four of those. Yeah, I mean this works great easy to come on and off and does the job thanks for watching and like and subscribe below stay tuned for more videos thanks